Hey, what's up, how's it going? Welcome to Leaf Curious. This is a series called Tree Talks where I dive into trees. Today's tree is going to be the horse chestnut. You probably know the horse chestnut tree as the conker tree because in the autumn, the fruits of this tree are conkers. They're in those spiky seed casings, so there might be some on the floor, look. This is remnant conker from last year and the spiky seed casings, they haven't quite broken down yet. What? Come on. So in the autumn, these will be hanging off the tree and they'll be bright green. If you look closely on the flowers, you can begin to see the conkers coming through. One of the best ways to identify this tree in the spring are by its flowers. It has these lovely big white and pink flowers which stand up off the tree and they almost look like candelabras coming up. They're starting to fade away a little bit because we've had some really hot days recently, but when you stand back from a tree and you see it, it's, it's, it's unmistakable. So another way you can identify the horse chestnut tree throughout the whole summer, throughout the whole growing season, are by its leaves. It has six to seven leaflets coming off one stem. When you start to get your eye in, you can really see it's quite a unique leaf shape. In younger trees, the bark is often quite smooth, but as horse chestnuts get older, they start to develop these plates and this cracking, and it's really quite distinctive. A disease which is quite common on horse chestnut trees is the bleeding canker, and I can actually see it on this tree here. We've got an area of bleeding here, here, a little bit further up the stem. Bleeding canker is a bacterial infection and on this tree it's not too bad but when it does get bad it can sometimes kill the tree. So another pest which affects the horse chestnut tree is the leaf miner and you can't really see it now it shows more at the end of summer but what happens is, is the foliage on the tree becomes really brown and that's because the leaf mining moth that lays its larvae in the leaves and come the end of summer they chomp their way through and it really makes a leaf turn brown. It's been said that vikings back in the day would crush the conkers with water and use that to wash with because there's a soap like chemical known as saponins I believe inside the conkers. I don't know if I'd do it but if you're a viking you don't have much of a choice. So horse chestnuts have immense value to wildlife, they're home to many birds, they're home to many insects, particularly the flowers are great for pollinating insects such as bumblebees. Bats have also been known to roost in much bigger horse chestnut trees where decay sets in and you have hollows and cavities and cracks in the bark and I can see an ant on the tree right here. So yeah, the horse chestnut tree is the absolute pinnacle of autumn with those lovely brown conkers. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on it. If you want to see more videos about nature and trees, click subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching.